Zodiac is synonymous with inflatable boats. It's like Kleenex to facial tissue or Band-Aid to adhesive bandages, and for good reason. They're very well built and very popular. I'd never actually inflated one, but within 30 minutes of arriving at our test beach, I'd unloaded the bag, deciphered the instructions, and this bad boy was inflated and ready to rock. Now we ran it both with an electric Torquedo T1003 and a traditional internal combustion outboard, the 4 horsepower Mercury 4 stroke. Both work great on something like this, but which one you want depends on a few factors. The Torquedo is lightweight and very quiet, with just a slight high pitched whir when you crank the tiller throttle to full blast. It's easy to store since there's no oil or gas to leak out but performance is understandably on the slower side. But it will get you where you want to go, no problem. Multiple runs while shifting my weight around to find optimal distribution yielded a one-off top speed of 5.5 miles per hour, but 5.1 miles per hour could be hit consistently. More than enough if you want to get to shore or just putt around a bay or lagoon. The main downside would be the recharge time. If you completely drain it, you're looking at six to seven hours, or use the oars that come with the Zodiac. The Mercury is heavier and louder and burns fuel, but it's twice as fast and still environmentally friendly with a carb star rating of three, the highest, and is considered ultra low emission. There's an integrated 1.1 liter fuel tank, which is perfect for short toots, but there's also a connector for an external tank. Zodiac's Cadet 230 has a hard roll-up or inflatable option for flooring, and we tested the latter, hence the arrow in the name. And I was surprised at how sturdy it was. It's still a tiny boat, has a maximum payload of three people, or 662 pounds, that's 300 kilograms. It would be a tight squeeze, but for what it does, a roll-up, hideaway, but safe and stable tender, the Zodiac lives up to its reputation.